So this is the layout blind on my 10 foot lifetime kayak. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hunter Rowe, Buck and Duck Outdoors. I've got some exciting stuff to show you guys that I got in from Rogers Sporting Goods. As well, later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how I brush out one of the things that I got from Rogers, as well as put it on my kayak. So make sure to stick around for that, stay tuned. Everything that I have gotten ordered here um, that I got in the mail today is all from Rogers sporting goods store um, shipped everything you know after you spend ninety nine dollars everything's free shipping I'm not quite sure who orders anything under ninety nine dollars with all the stuff that they've got just to go ahead and get you guys started on what I've got here the first thing is twelve mallard decoys um, from DOA it's actually a Rogers exclusive deal so got a pretty good hookup on them so check that out while you can before they sell out um, all the green heads are flogged which I really wanted to go with this year and spend a little extra money on um, go ahead and get 12 new ones look at the detail on these mallard drakes all flogged heads even the hens look pretty second thing I got here is Higdon Outdoors mallard drake pulsator if you don't have one of these in your spread, you definitely need to get one. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to get and was saving up this year to make some purchases and it was one of the first things on my list. Third thing I've got here is just the new Rogers floaty mesh decoy bags with the straps that will last me longer than a season, which is awesome. I can fit all the decoys I bought today into that. The fourth item that I got delivered to me today is this two pound, I actually got four pounds of it, the whoop grass um, that Rogers has got for sale. Going to be decking out the layout blind with that as well as my Kayaks. Get a load of these wood duck decoys. I got a half dozen of those, the GHG um, wood duck decoys. Really excited to be able to use these, especially here in the be beginning end of September um, for all my wood duck hunts. If you hunt where I'm from in Kentucky and Indiana, you know that we get a ton of wood ducks, especially in the early season. So I wanted to go ahead and get loaded up on those guys as well. Last but not least, Rogers Goosebusters Low Profile Blind. I'm going to be putting this on my kayak as well, guys. So I'm going to be showing that to you here in a little while. How I'm planning on installing that and also putting all this grass up on it. Hopefully, going to be decking all that out with all the whoop grass and then also using the leftover whoop grass for the kayak. But I'm going to be using this for hunting out of my kayak as well as just hunting ponds um, wherever I can go and put a layout blind. So this is the first time I've ever used a layout blind. Um, so when I was doing some research, the low profile one that I felt I could fit on my kayak was best. Um, not super expensive, light. It turns into a backpack, which is awesome. It doesn't have the frame that goes all the way across. It just has this frame here in the back that you, you can see that's uh, painted this bronze color and then another one there in the back that folds out. So it makes it super lightweight, easy to carry around, easy to put on a kayak. It's also got another metal rod that goes across of it so you can put your gun on it when you're laying actually back here in the layout blind. So like that, um, love that it can either lay forward or you can bring it back and get even more low profile. So excited to be able to put this on the kayak, hopefully, as well as use it as a layout blind in the field when we're hunting for ducks and geese. In all, couldn't be more excited about everything that Roger sent to me. Figured that I always end up buying a lot of these items halfway through the season. Why not just go ahead and bulk up on everything right now? That is everything that I got in this shipment. Um, hopefully it lasts me the entire season. I think we always end up trying to buy everything beforehand and then end up buying a couple more dozen decoys once the season starts up just because you can't help yourself. Super happy with everything that I've gotten so far. Shout out to Rogers again for hooking me up on everything. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and go outside, go to the kayak, show you all that again. I'm going to put that layout blind on there as well as try and brush it up. Peace. All right, guys. Got the Rogers Goosebuster layout blind, low profile. Uh, no, I told you guys I'd show you how I'm going to be putting all this whoop grass on there. Got four pounds of it right now. All over this blind, this layout blind, you've got these straps that I'm going to be putting all that grass through. So I'm going to show you that um, and just the steps through getting all that done and make it as camo out as I can get it so them geese and ducks aren't seeing me when they're coming in. So the more of that I can have, that grass, the better. This has the back frame here where you can see it. It doesn't go all the way out. It's got a frame that goes on the front. Um, there's nothing in here, so it's not spring activated or anything like that. But for what I'm gonna be using it for, it should be perfect. Um, also has this netting at the top here that you can see. And what that does is just hide your face but it allows you to still see all the ducks and geese. What I'm doing here now is just taking all this grass here and going to be putting it in through all these notches. 
um, to each one of these just to really get that laid out and brush that in, make it look a lot more natural. So we're gonna be doing that for the next few minutes here to show you all what it looks like. So just to show you all kind of a close up of what I'm doing, I'm basically taking it, putting it in a little bit of a knot like that, not taking a whole lot at a time, putting it through this loop and then taking it back in through and cinching it down. So grabbing it like that and then kind of pulling it down like that and then tighten these up a little bit to where it all lays out flat like that for you and you can have it spread out and blend in a little bit better. As you can see, I've got these first two in that I've cinched down. So I'm just gonna continue to do that with all that grass I've got over there. Um, also, do it all on every single strap we've got. Guest appearance, Miss MJ. MJ, say hi girl. Oh, she's a good girl, a good bulldog. Here come the ducks, hit the high ball up. Shut up the dog, stare at the water. I'll say when, hold on, y'all wait. Get them boys, boom, 12 gauge. I'll tell you all what I've got so far. So right now, I've just been taking all this grass, weaving it into the blind, the layout blind. Got some on that side as well, so, uh, you know, excited to see what it looks like. A little bit of hard work, and it's a little hot out, but gonna keep going at it and show you all updates as I go and the finished product. Okay, a little bit of an update here, so got everything just about done on the front side of it, um, and then one of the door panels, so cam went all of that in, all up the left side here, up to basically right where my face will be. Uh, so just kind of show you comparison of the two. So that's what it looks like uncovered over here. And this is it with all that grass on it. So I'm gonna keep working on it, show you all the finishing product. So far, so good though. Okay, the finishing product. So I got all that grass woven in throughout all those loops. This is it with the doors open on the layout blind. Show you kind of the back of it, what it all looks like. You know, it took me a little while to get the hang of how to weave all this in there and be efficient with it but this is it again with uh, all the grass on with the doors open and just to kind of show you what it looks like with them closed so as you can see there i mean it is pretty the geese and the ducks will not know what hit them super satisfied with how it turned out let me guys know what you all think uh, if you have any questions on it feel free to ask but pretty simple once you get everything on there uh, and just start weaving it through cinching those knots so this is the layout blind on my 10 foot lifetime kayak that you all have seen in some videos i've um, got the panels open right now so just wanted to show you this part first so this is with everything on it so far you know obviously i'm gonna have to brush in this back and front part up here but i got a bunch more grass to be able to do that with so wanted just to get an idea of what it looked like on here um, you know, I think it turned out pretty well for the most part. There's gonna be a couple of things I'm gonna have to modify, but nothing crazy. Um, so this back compartment is gonna be for all the decoys. I can probably fit 20 to 24 decoys in my bag on the back of this and it'd still be stable. Just strap it down here um, up to the front. So that'll go up there, strap everything down. Underneath here, which y'all probably can't see is where I'll keep my blind bag. Cause where this part pops up right here, there's a big section behind it. It allows me to be able to store camera gear and uh, you know most of my shotgun shells, little things I might need. Um, and then so again, that's the inside of what it all looks like here. Cut it off, trimmed it up a little bit on all these angles below. Um, that way, all this won't be sitting in the water and getting all nasty and falling apart. So I wanted to make sure I trimmed that up. But yeah, man, that is putting the layout blind on the kayak. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what it looks like with the uh, blind closed. So here it is with the panels closed. You can see that my head sticks out right in this area. So I didn't wanna cover it up too much. That way I can get you know camera view and uh, being able to see and everything like that. But gonna get this part camouflaged in a whole lot more. But overall, I'm just super satisfied with how this kayak has worked out with this layout blind. Really excited that it fits on the 10 foot kayak that I have. Um, doesn't fit exactly perfect. Gonna have to have some straps below to probably keep it snug. But um, this is your do it yourself, putting a layout blind on a 10 foot kayak, which you don't see very often. 
most of the time you're seeing 12 foot kayaks for me um, since i use this for a lot of different things i didn't want to get a 12 footer just because they are big and bulky and it's hard to be able to do that with one person to get all the gear on there and get out and get where you want to hunt and this will allow me to get to some spots that are a little bit more secluded um, so if anybody's thinking about doing this on their 10 foot kayak you know i'm going to keep showing you all as i keep working on it before the season starts but i believe it can be done um, so yeah do it yourself duck kayak with the layout blind on it excited